Locally world famous. Locally world famous chiropractic. If you look at her sign outside, it'll it'll probably not say that. But if you go to Trader Joe's, they think we will. Um, we're gonna cover how to pop your own back today. And I know a lot of you probably look it up. It's like, how can I adjust myself? You probably don't call it adjustment. You probably call it a pop or pop cracking. Crack. Yeah. So um, we're gonna show you a couple things that we've sent patients uh, home with just to mobilize certain areas of their back. Um, but we really don't think it's a good idea for people to pop their own back when they have a problem, mm -hmm. okay? Especially self-guided. Um, I know I would want not someone to do their own neck or their own low back, and I know people do, and they like to show it off. Um, I know I don't do it. I do my knuckles a lot as mm -hmm. a habit. Um, but it doesn't make it a good thing either. Mm -hmm. So what do you think about popping your own? I think that first I want to say, hi, I'm Dawn. This is Sebastian. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, they don't care about her name. <laughs> um, yeah, I am on board with that. I think that, I mean, there's times where I'm seated and I just kind of like sit up and like to, you know, pop, pop my mid-back area. You'll never see me trying to do any sort of thing like this that I see a lot of people do or like really adjusting my low back. Um, it's not that it's bad. But like you said, if there's an issue going on and you think adjusting, self-adjusting yourself in that area is going to help, um, I would reconsider. Yeah, but you know, as we go through these demonstrations today, it, it's if it's go, if it's gonna go, it's gonna go. Mm -hmm. You know, and like usually, even in clinic, we don't we don't force the hell out of any of them. It's just quick and to the point. Mm -hmm. You know, and so uh, when we go through these again, you should you should be seen by somebody. Um, especially if you're trying to deal with something and a lot of times consider it if you if it pops too quickly and too much and it happens all the time maybe it's too loose um, there's the duct tape and the WD-40 analogy that we tend to give a lot of people if it's if it's too loose sometimes it needs duct tape and you're just giving it more WD-40 but when something really does need to move it certainly needs to move in that case we would do it the other way. It's the WD-40. The WD-40. WD, WD there you go. <laughs> so, um, Don, you want to show the first version that you like to... Yeah, I mean, you're sitting in the first version. You're doing it. Okay. And so from here, what you can do, we're going to show you mid-back adjustments. Those ones feel great. They're pretty safe. There you went. Oh, there you go. You just <laughs> did it. A lot of times you'll notice if you're just slouching and you sit up, it kind of just goes on its own anyways. But if you're kind of feeling that like sticky point and you just need it, you could do this in your chair. Arms over your shoulder, tuck your chin, lean back nice and slow until you feel it move. If you don't get that crack, you're still getting movement in this area too. So you could just, as Seb's going back and forth like this, he's mobilizing that joint still. He's getting some movement in there. And you see how he's sliding down the chair each time he does a couple? He's hitting different segments of that area. So that's a really simple way you could do it from home. Most people are seated in a chair at work or at home or anything like that. So you could try that out. And I feel like the chair is just massaging me. <laughs> you just like, fall asleep over I don't even have to pay it. <laughs> okay, so the other one then, once you go on your back, then we'll get this foam roller. Okay. And the cool thing, at least with just you uh, mobilizing your mid-back, um, even at home, is that the mid-back is supposed to move and rotate a lot. There's certain sections of the spine that are supposed to move more than others. The lower back, it, it doesn't really rotate too much, and so that rotating one that a lot of people like to do on their own is really not necessarily always that good. So Don, what Don's doing, she's kind of short on the table here, or she'd probably slide her legs out. Um, but she's bending, similar to I was, over the over instead of over the chair, now I'm doing it over a foam roller. And usually people pick a certain segment, and they kind of work that segment until they feel it kind of soften a little bit. And it might take 10 reps or so, and then they kind of move on to the next in 10 reps or so. And if she needs to get a little bit of overpressure, she can bring the hips up if she needs to, to sag a little bit more. I like to leave my hips on the ground and just let this kind of drape over and just breathe in really deep. So that's the one I like to do. Love it. You had another one that in your bank, great. I think. I did. So this one would be, for those of you who maybe don't have any sort of shoulder issues going on, because this is gonna kind of challenge the shoulder area, but as long as you can see me here, I'm at the edge of the table mm -hmm. here. Let's bring this thing a little bit forward then and give you some room. My elbows are at the edge of the table. You can do this on a couch, you could do it on a chair, anything really, but your elbows are supported here. And I go, put my hands behind my head, sit back, and then sink through, like so. 
and you can come up and sink through. So as long as you don't have any sort of shoulder issues, this should feel really good. You just find that sticky spot. I can do my arms extended too. You just sink and it feels really freaking good. Well, that's what, three ways to maybe get a sort of mid-back adjustment. A lot of times when you get more mobility in the mid-back, um, you'll start to notice that your neck and your low back can also feel better once that is just working a little bit more too. Yeah, I think I, I've met a lot of people if they just do something like, sorry, I gotta keep myself on the screen. You make me laugh a lot, so. Yeah. Quirks. Um, I, I know one girl that she just, like the foam roller itself, just using just for the mid-back and just kind of going over segments like selectively, she's like, just a world of difference. She's like, holy shit, this thing only costs like 10 bucks? Mm -hmm. Wow, I should have known this years ago. And so the mid-back is a really easy thing just to mobilize. And, but again, if you're looking for someone to actually pop you, we're in Huntington, we're locally world famous. Subscribe. Subscribe, subscribe to the channel. In one of the corners is a little circle that says P, it's our logo. Uh, and you'll get videos of various different types from how to resolve hip issues, how to uh, sciatica, low back pain, disc, facet syndrome, shoulder, neck, blah, blah, blah. I mean, you put in almost anything you want in there, we probably got almost 500 videos in there. And so go to our channel and just use the search bar. YouTube's pretty good with search results. And so just go through, I just pop my toe. Oh, I don't like that. Oh, I love oh, this. Oh, I don't like it and my toe's cracked. I love it's it. It's weird. Oh. Yeah, you like that? Uh-uh. <laughs> <laughs> So um, subscribe to the channel. Uh, we hope we give good information. And uh, if you need us, we're here. See you soon.